Well, what we're doing here is uh, we're doing a job specific training for uh, replacing the, the V-string insulators. I was hired to come in and, and do a, uh, a specific rescue procedure for the center phase. And uh, we're going to access the conductor with either a ladder or a, a bucket truck, insulated bucket truck, drop the, the worker off on the wire. He comes into the to, to do the work at the tower, the yoke plate up there on the hot end. And uh, if something happens there where the man was up on the wire and he had a medical condition, meaning that he fainted, heart attack, stroke, uh, any kind of a medical condition, uh, two different scenarios there where he's been dropped off on the wire, he's belted in, he's, he's moving towards the insulator, uh, it, and then some issue happens. What we did up there is we, we brought him out 12 feet away from the tower just so that when we drop him down, he doesn't become like a spark plug in between the wire and the tower. So we have to bring him out what we, from the transverse face of that tower. We have to bring him out beyond that and then put that directional on the conductor up there. Put that on there as a redirect so that we can direct it and lower him down from a position further out from the tower. And then he's not going to become, uh, he's, he's not going to be in harm's way that way. And the next scenario is where he's already made it to the insulator and he's clipped into the red rope, the one that's provided from above. He's right by the insulator and something happens where he falls off of that and now he's hanging from the red rope. We go out beyond the tower uh, and put, a, put a, a tracking element. It tracks him out in front of the transverse face of the tower, gets him away from, from danger, and then we track him to the ground and break bond uh, and, and, and keep him away from that, that spark plug effect. And that'll involve the ground crew doing all the pulley systems. It's a knowledge of rigging and uh, it's rope access stuff. So it comes from mountain climbing. They're high tenacity polyester ropes. They're used, uh, the electricity doesn't see them, so they're invisible. But these are the same ropes I use in my school in, in uh, Sedona, Arizona. When people come and take fire department rescue classes, mountain rescue classes up on glaciers, mountains, whatever, this is the same rope I use there. The blue one is for training because uh, when we train, we have to have two points of contact while the guys are, are doing this. Uh, during the regular procedure, they're, they're only going to have the red one, and uh, we're not planning on anything happening. It's just an if, if something happens. And then the laws allow us to lower a man on a single rope, provided that we've uh, trained with the uh, two-rope system. The blue rope won't be there, yeah, only the red. So that guy will be dropped off. He'll be doing standard procedures with his line belt, uh, with his uh, strap around the conductor and he'll walk up and do his work. If anything happens, that red rope will be there. Transmission linemen now look totally different than distribution linemen because we have different PPEs, different requirements, different uh, ways of looking at the job, di different hazards too. With transmission, the, the, the injuries are more traumatic. Uh, they would be a traumatic as, as opposed to electrocution where we need to get the guy to the ground lickety-split. If we have a, a problem on a transmission line, it's gonna be a guy falling off the tower it's going to be a collapse of the ladder system that they're using, you know, about the ladders. Uh, something goes wrong from the helicopter, getting the guy on the tower or the wire, uh, some un unanticipated traumatic event. So we treat that a lot differently. So this is a whole new paradigm, a whole different helmet, a whole different harness, a whole different way of looking at it. This is a lineman's harness. But it's basically a different kind of a lineman harness in that you can, you can actually hang from it and you're comfortable. In a traumatic injury, we try to protect the cervical spine so that the guy does we don't exacerbate those injuries. Uh, so in other words, if he has a broken neck or broken vertebrae, that by, by cutting his belt like they do in distribution and dropping him onto the rope and then lowering him down, uh, we don't exacerbate those, we don't make those injuries worse so the guy will never walk again. So what we try to do is, is do things a lot differently on power line, on transmission lines than we do on distribution lines. So that's why the difference, basically, of what, what you see here. There's, there's a long way to go. I mean, they could go way further than this, but this is what we're doing for this job right now. I trade fire departments, mountain rescue teams, mine rescue teams, anybody to do with, anything to do with rope. Um, most, of my, most of my business is because I was a lineman back in the 70s, but a lot of my work is line because uh, this is what I really like to do.